In the city of Vancouver's beautiful Stanley Park, you can find the Japanese-Canadian War Memorial. This memorial is dedicated to the Japanese-Canadian soldiers who served their country by fighting in the First World War. The cenotaph was unveiled on April 9, 1920, on the three-year anniversary of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Designed by James Anderson Benzie and funded by the Japanese-Canadian community, the memorial's main components are a 34-foot-tall white limestone pillar, a large circular base, and a lantern at the top. The design is a blend of Western and Japanese architecture styles. The pillar is a distinctly European fluted column, while the lantern at the top resembles a Japanese pagoda lantern. The different styles complement each other and fuse seamlessly, representing the merging of these two cultures in our country. The lantern is a symbol of the unification between Japan and Canada, who were allies in the First World War. At the base of the column, there is a plaque inscribed with the names of those who fell in the line of duty. Of the 222 Japanese Canadians who enlisted, 54 died fighting in World War I. This plaque is unusual in that it lists the names of every soldier who gave their life. Unlike many other memorials that are dedicated to nameless or unknown soldiers, this memorial recognizes each man as an individual. Around the back, a second smaller plaque lists the soldiers lost in the Second World War and Korean War, demonstrating how Japanese Canadians' contributions and devotion to the country did not end in 1918. The base of the memorial is inscribed with the battles that Japanese Canadians fought in. They include notable battles such as Vimy Ridge, Passchendaele, and the Battle for Hill 70. Surrounding the memorial is a stone fence with more plaques, and also many beautiful cherry trees. The plaques give information about the memorial's history, encouraging visitors to educate themselves and reflect on what the memorial means. The first of the cherry trees were planted the year the memorial was erected in 1920. More cherry trees were planted in 1925 and again in 1932. Cherry blossoms hold great symbolic meaning in Japanese culture. The practice of hanami, or watching the cherry blossoms, occurs every April when the flowers peak. Their primary significance is a metaphor for the transient and ephemeral nature of life. The meaning of the cherry blossoms can be tied to the remembrance of the 54 young men who died fighting in the war. Their lives were short, but still beautiful and worthy of recognition. While the memorial is an inspiring testament to the courage and resilience of the Japanese Canadian volunteers, it is also tied to a darker part of Canadian history. One of the driving factors behind Japanese-Canadian enlistment in the war was the disenfranchisement of their community. At that time, no Asian Canadians could vote in BC. The volunteers hoped that through military service, they could obtain the right to vote. When BC recruitment centers turned them away on racial grounds, they refused to give up, and over 160 men traveled to Alberta where they successfully enlisted. After the war ended, the Japanese-Canadian veterans campaigned for the enfranchisement of the Japanese-Canadian community. Their growing movement was halted by the advance of the Second World War, which saw 22,000 Japanese-Canadians arrested and detained in internment camps. The memorial's lantern was extinguished on December 16, 1941. This act was a physical representation of the country turning its back on Japanese-Canadians. The lantern was not relit until 1985, the relighting was done by Masumi Mitsui, a 98-year-old veteran of the First World War, who had also been interned during World War II. This event was a symbol of the healing Japanese-Canadian relationship, the acceptance of Japanese-Canadians into the national consciousness. The history of the Japanese-Canadian War Memorial makes it a complicated symbol for the Japanese-Canadian community. It represents everything that Japanese-Canadians had to overcome, exclusion, marginalization, and internment but it also represents their valiant struggle for enfranchisement and their incredible demonstrations of resiliency and determination in the face of opposition. The memorial's relative obscurity in Canadian history is unfortunate, as it deserves more recognition, and it is an important reminder of the diversity that has always existed in our country.